Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I don't know about you. The next less than two hours is very crucial. And I will tell you why it's so very crucial. If the way you the way you handle it matters. And it's because it's two in one. Because in the next less than two hours, we'll be crossing into another decade. I will be crossing into another year. So, brethren, the way you handle the next few hours is important to you and to your family and to your destiny. But my prayer is that the Lord will open our eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. The many we enter the new decade and the new year with excess luggage. There are so many baggages that many have been carrying in the last 10 years. But many will still carry the same baggages into the next decade. But my prayer for you is that the Bible says in Matthew chapter 15 verse 13, say every plan that my father has not planted, he said it shall be uprooted. My prayer for you tonight is that every plan that my God has not planted into your life, whatever that the Lord has not attached to you, that you have attached to yourself, that the enemy has attached to you in whatever way or whatever form, it shall be uprooted in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, I would just want to encourage us to rise up on our feet. I want you to tell the almighty God this hour from that scripture that I've just said that says every plant that my father has not planted is it that's figurative I don't know what that plant is in your life it might be sickness, it might be disease, it might be poverty, it might be whatever that the Lord has not attached to you do you want to tell the Lord that father in heaven tonight in the next few hours Lord my God and my Savior, let it be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, go ahead and tell the Almighty that whatever that the Lord has not attached to you, whatever that the Lord has not planted into your life, whatever that the Lord has not put in your family, whatever that the enemy has done, tell the Almighty God that Lord, tonight, Lord, Father, let it be uprooted in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, my Father and my God, whatever you have not planted into our life, whatever you have not planted into our family, Lord Jesus, tonight we pray that Lord let it be uprooted in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, that it, that it shall be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every seed that you have not planted, Lord, my Father and my God, that is approved by fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we give you permission, Lord, to uproot in the name of our Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, Lord, that is tonight, Lord, that is take away, Lord. Take it away, Holy Spirit. Take it away, Almighty God. Take it away, ancient of days. Take it away, the Lord of Lords. Take it away, the King of glory. My Lord and my Savior, take it away, Lord, that your name will be glorified, that your name will be exalted, that your name will be magnified, Lord. Blessed be your name, Almighty Father. Be thou exalted, ancient of this, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You see, many of us, if you can think back, you look at year 2019. And just take a moment to look back into 10 years and ask yourself, how has my spiritual life been? How has my economic life been? How has my physical life been? My health, how has it been? How has the life of my children, my husband, my wife been? Is it where I'm supposed to be? Is this your plan and purpose for my destiny? 
if we'll be so sincere in our heart, we will be able to tell the Almighty God tonight and say, Father, I need you to purge me tonight. I need to be free. I want to enter into the new decade without any extra excess attachment. Brethren, tell the Almighty God, that Father, Lord, I want to go into the new year without any extra, without any attachment. I don't know whenever, I don't know to how long that sickness has been in your body. Brethren, tonight, the Almighty God will remove it. Tell the Almighty God, that Father, set me free by fire. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Go ahead and tell the Lord. The Father set me free. Oh Lord, set me free, Lord. Father, set me free. That your name will be glorified, Lord. Almighty God, set me free, Lord. Set us free, Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, set us free, Lord. That your name will be glorified, Lord. That your name alone will be exalted. That your name will be glorified, my Lord. Oh, blessed be your name, ancient of days. Blessed be your name, almighty God. Be thou exalted, be thou exalted, Lord Jesus. Glory in the highest, Lord. We worship and we adore your name, O oh Lord. Take all the glory, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful, mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. But let me just take you through a, a, just a popular scripture that we all know very well. It's the story of the patriarch. Uh, one of the patriarchs who, is, who is happened to be the father Abraham himself. When we read the account of Abraham when the Lord called him in Genesis chapter 12, from verse 1 to 5, I will read quickly. The Bible says, the Lord said to Abraham, leave your country, your family, and your relatives, and go to the land that I will show you. I will bless you and make your descendant into a great nation. You will become famous and be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you, but I will cost anyone. I will, but I will put a curse on anyone who put a curse on you. Everyone on earth will be blessed because of you. And because of him, you are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abraham was 75 years old when the Lord told him to leave his, the, country, the city of Aaron. He obeyed and left, his, and left with his wife, his nephew Lot, and all the possession and slaves they had acquired while in Haran. But I want you to look beyond the story, beyond this account. God called Abraham, but he, he added Lot to his, to his life. For as many of us that know this story very well, we will know very well that by the time you get to Genesis chapter 13, God himself had to instigate something to separate Lot from him. Because Lot has been, has been a bane in his life. Lot has been a terror in his destiny. The promise of God for his life will never be actualized if Lot will not separate from him. But Abraham himself had to say it. Brethren, tonight it's not God that will, that will, that will say it for you. But it's you yourself that will say it. And I'm going to read to us Genesis chapter 13. Let me read chapter 13 to us from verse uh, 5 to 9. 13, 5 to 9. Lot, was, Lot who was traveling with him also had sheep, goats, and cattle as well as his own family and slave. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were still living in the same, in the same area. And so there wasn't enough pastor land left for Abraham and Lot with all their animals. Beside this, the men who took care of Abraham's animals and the ones who took care of Lot's animals started quarreling. Abraham said to Lot, we are close relatives. We shouldn't argue. Our men shouldn't be fighting one another. There is plenty of land for you to choose from. Let us separate. It's not God that told it, that said it. He himself said, he said, let us separate. But I want you to say with your mouth to the almighty God tonight, that Father, whatever that is not of you in my life, you know it yourself, whatever that has not allowed you to be your best, whatever that has not allowed you to be your best in the last decade, 
that has not allowed you to be your best in the year 2019 that is passing away, tell the Almighty God that, Father, tonight, separate me in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and tell the Lord that, Father, separate me, Lord. Separate me because I want to be my best, Lord. I want to be my best for you, Almighty. I want to be my best, Holy Spirit. Father, separate me from everything that has, not, that has made me not to be my best. That has retarded my life, Lord. That has made me, Lord, that you, Lord, not to progress. That has made me not to shine for you. That has made me not to be superstar for you. Father, separate me, Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father and my God, separate me in the name of our Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, separate me, Lord. Father, separate us, Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Ancient of days, how do we pray this hour, Lord? The Lord that is separate us, Lord, that your name alone will be glorified, that your name alone will be exalted. Oh, Lord, Father in heaven, separate us, Lord, and let your name alone be glorified forevermore. Father, we bless your name, oh, Lord. Holy Spirit, we glorify your name. Blessed be your name, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, let me tell you, you know, so a lot has become a barrier between Abraham and it's the promise. There's a promise of God upon your life. But there's something that is standing in between. And if that thing will not give way, that promise will not be actualized. That promise will never come to pass. When we read the same book I'm reading to us, Genesis chapter 13, and the Bible says, and after, after Abraham and Lot had gone their separate way, the Lord said to Abraham, look around to the north and south and east and west. I will give you and your family all the land you can see. But brethren, if you read that scripture very well, the Bible says the land was not enough for them anymore. Was it the land that is the problem? No. It was because Abraham could not see. Lot has become a, a, a speck that covered the eyes of, of, of Abraham. You want to tell the Almighty God that, Father, in this coming year, open my eyes. Open my eyes, brethren. Tell the Almighty God. The problem is not where you are. It is because you are not seeing. Tell the Almighty God that, Father, open my eyes, Lord. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my physical eyes, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. You see, after the Lord opened his eyes, the Lord told him to do something, which I want you to do by faith this hour. The Bible, the Almighty God told him, say, walk, he said, arise and begin to walk in the land. If you are seated, do you want to arise and begin to walk and begin to possess your possession? And tell the Almighty God that, Lord, I begin to possess my possession. I begin to arise into my, into my purpose. There is a purpose why the Lord has brought you to the United Kingdom. There is a purpose why the Lord has created you. There is a purpose why the Lord has brought you to the city of Crayford. Do you want to tell the Almighty God that, Lord, I arise this hour, Lord, and I begin to walk in my purpose, and I begin to walk in my destiny, and I begin to walk in my love, in my, in my purpose for the life, Lord. I begin to fulfill my destiny in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I shall never be retarded again in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, set me free, Lord, and take all the glory. Blessed be your name. Be thou exalted, almighty Father. Be thou glorified, Lord. Be thou lifted up forever and evermore. Blessed be your name, oh Lord. Blessed be our God, Lord. Take all the glory, Lord Jesus. Take all the glory, Holy Spirit. We worship and we adore you, Lord. Glory, honor, adoration unto your name. In Jesus' 
wonderful, mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And lastly, there is another, another story about the same Abraham. You see, when Abraham, after, after the Lord left him, he, he, he followed the counsel of his wife and gave back to Ishmael. Ishmael became another trouble in his life that did not allow Abraham to move forward. But he got to a point in the life of Abraham, even, the, even Sarah, his wife, that gave that advice, had to tell him that you need to send this bond woman and this child away because this woman and this child will not have anything to inherit with my son. There is an inheritance for you. There is an inheritance for your family. There is an inheritance for your children. But there is an Ishmael that is standing in the gap. There is an Ishmael that is struggling with them. Do you want to tell the Almighty God that, Father, whatever that represents Ishmael, whatever that represents any bad woman in the destiny of my life, in the destiny of my children, my Father and my God, get rid of them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Tell the Almighty God that, Father, get rid of them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Sarah had to tell Abraham that get rid of this shit, get rid of this bad woman, get rid of fish men, get rid of them for my for, for my son, so that my son, the covenant child, will inherit the inheritance. My father, and my God, that is everything that represents this man. Even in our lives, Lord, in the life of our children, Lord, in the life of our family, Lord. Father, we beg you tonight, Lord, get rid of them. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Our inheritance in the land, Lord, that is my Father and my God, we shall not be taken by another. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, that your name will be glorified. Oh, Lord, we bless you. We give you the praise, Lord. Take all the glory, mighty God. Blessed be your name, oh, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful, mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lord, we just want to bless your name this hour. What a faithful God. What a mighty God you are. Lord, we appreciate you for the last 10 years in our life. We thank you for the decade that is passing away. We thank you for year 2019 that is packing its load. Lord, we glorify your name, O Lord. If it has not been of the Lord's mercy, if it has not been of the Lord of, of, of the Lord compassion, oh my father, my God, where will you be? Where will our family be? Where will your church be, Lord? But your grace has kept us. Your mercy has kept us. Your faithfulness has kept us, Lord. Father, we say, Blessed be your name. Oh Lord, blessed be your name, oh Lord. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, Lord Jesus. In the next couple of hours, my Lord and my Father will be crossing over into another year, into another decade. The journey will start. Men of the world will begin to take position. But my Father and my God, we know, Daddy, that when you are with us, Lord, all shall be well, Lord. Father, before we get into that new year, Lord, whatever that you have not planted in our life, Lord, we pray this our Lord, separate in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, whatever that has not been added to us, that the devil has added to our lives, that we have added to our own life, Lord. My Lord and my Father, Lord, we give you permission tonight, Lord, Daddy, to destroy it in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, we commit your church into your hands, Lord. The last 10 years have been wonderful. The last 10 years have been awesome. But Lord, Daddy, oh Lord, we are going into another decade. My Father and my God, Lord, Daddy, it is time for your church to move forward. It is time for your church to take its place. It is time for your church to take its place, Lord. Father, move your church forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Every family represented in the city of God, that we pray tonight, Lord, that every family shall make progress in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. It shall be well with us, Lord. Your name will be glorified. We bless you, awesome God. We return the glory to you, Lord. Be thou exalted, our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I 
I know we're already warming up. We're already warming up. Are we tired of praying? Okay. The next thing that we want to pray about restoration. Divine restoration. I will quickly read from the book of Job. Chapter 14. Job chapter 14. I will read verses 7 to 9. Job 14, 7 to 9. For there is hope of a thing. If it be cut down, that it will sprout again. And that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof was sold in the earth, and the stock thereof died in the ground, verse 9 says, Yet through the scent of water it will bud. Through the scent of water it will and bring forth bud like a plant. That means that tree that has been confirmed dead, the word of God is saying tonight that even as water will come, that which is dead will come alive again. <laughs> you know, while our brother was leading the prayer, something came to my mind. 2020 is a unique year. I'm not sure there's going to be anything like 2020. I was just thinking about it. I think the last one that was similar was 1919. 1990, double, double. In this year, God wants to replace everything that you have lost. <laughs> I'm thinking that somebody will say a better amen. It doesn't matter what you have lost. It doesn't matter the situation that you came in tonight. By the power of the almighty God at his presence in the house, you will not live empty again. Genesis 131 says, and God saw everything that he has made, and behold, it was very good. Everything that God has made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. <laughs> that is the original plan and purpose of God for you and I. That everything will be good. I'm still laying the foundation. Exodus chapter 12, verse 36. The Israelites, in a single night, in a single night, got everything that they ever labored for, for 430 years. Exodus chapter 12, verse 36. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. God will grant you favor tonight. So that the Egyptians lent unto them such things as they required, and they spoiled the Egyptians. <laughs> that means everything that they required, spiritually, financially, emotionally, God gave unto them. I don't know what your requirements are tonight. I don't know the expectations that you have come with. But tonight is your night of divine restoration. I say tonight is your night of divine restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 3. You and I know it very well. He restored my soul and leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. <laughs> you want to pray this night. Father, in 2020, let there be divine restoration concerning my soul, concerning my spiritual life. Let there be divine restoration. Go ahead and pray tonight. Father, let there be divine restoration. According to your word, you restored my soul and you leaded me in the path of righteousness for the sake of your name. Father, help me to experience your spiritual restoration. Lead me in the path of righteousness, Lord. Refresh my soul, Lord. Refresh my soul. Let me experience your, ref your refreshment, Lord. Refresh my soul, Father. Let there be a refreshment in my soul. Daddy, let there be a refreshment in my soul. Total restoration, Lord. Total restoration, Father. Let there be spiritual restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Total divine restoration. Daddy, restore our soul. Re let there be refreshment, Lord. Let there be refreshment. Spiritually, let there be refreshment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I know you can do better than that. 
is not an ordinary night. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 says, I will restore earth unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. I don't know the wound you have suffered in the last decade, in the last 20, 30, 40 years. The word of God is saying, I will restore earth unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wound, say the Lord, because they call thee an outcast. Saying this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Hmm. You want to pray tonight. Father, restore my divine earth. In every area of my life, help me to experience divine earth. Heal every wound in my life. Every wound, either spiritually, financially, emotionally, maritally, every wound, let them be healed tonight. Oh, go ahead and pray. Father, heal every wound. Every wound that I've been carrying in the past decade, Lord. Every wound of the enemy. Every scar of the evil one. My Lord and my God, let there be healing tonight. Let there be healing tonight. Father, heal me tonight. Heal me. Restore my head, Lord. Restore my head, Lord. Daddy, let there be divine there tonight. Daddy, let that be divine dead. Let that be divine dead, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Maybe your own restoration is not in the area of earth. Maybe it's in the area of relationship. Maybe it's the area of your finances. The power of God is available in the house tonight. Whatever area that you want God to touch tonight, I want you to call upon God. The Father in this area of my life, in this area that I cannot even share with anyone, Father, touch me tonight. Heal me of every wound. Heal me of every wound. Go ahead and ask for restoration tonight. Ask for divine restoration tonight. Total restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, let there be divine touch tonight. In every area of my life, Daddy, touch me, Lord. Touch me, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 25. Joel chapter 2, 25. The word of God is saying, and I will restore to you the years, not the days, not the month, the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. <laughs> Verse 20 says, and ye shall eat in plenty and you shall be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that did wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. You want to pray tonight. Father, in the year 2020, I will eat in plenty. I will eat in abundance. I will be satisfied. And your name will be praised in my life. Go ahead and pray tonight. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy into the year 2020. In the year 2020, I will not lack everything that is good. Spiritually, I will not lack. Financially, I will not lack. Emotionally, I will not lack. In abundance of every good thing, I will not lack. Whatever you say to my ear, so shall I do. That is the word of God concerning you. Whatever you desire, open your mouth and talk to God Almighty tonight. Oh, whatever you desire concerning the year of double anointing, concerning the year of double miracle, whatever you say to my hearing, so shall I do. Daddy, in 2020, I will not cry. In 2020, I will not weep. In 2020, I will not lament. I will not lack everything that is good. I prophesy unto you 2020. You will attract my blessing unto me. You will attract my breakthrough unto me. You will attract my promotion unto me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. There's a story in the Bible. The story of King David. You and I know it very well. First Samuel chapter 13. First Samuel 13. I will only read one verse. First Samuel 13. If you start reading from verse 1. The Amalekites invaded Gilgad. 
and they took everything away, even the wives, the properties. But there is something unique about that story in verse 18. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David recovered everything. I don't know what you have lost in the time past. Within the, I don't know how many decades you have spent. I don't know what you have lost. But you want to pray tonight. Father, by the power in your name, I recover all the lost ground. I recover in the year 2020. Everything that I've ever lost in every area of my life. Spiritual life, financial life, matrimonial life, emotional life. In every area of my life. In 2020, you told David that he should pursue. That he shall recover all. Daddy, by the power in your name, I will recover all. I will recover all. In every area of my life that I've suffered one loss or the other. In every area of my life that I've suffered loss. Daddy, tonight I recover all. I recover all. I recover all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We are still praying for restoration tonight. Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah 61 verse 7. I'm reading from New Living Translation. Isaiah 61 verse 7 says, Instead of your shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. Ah, I think somebody will say a better amen. Say, you will enjoy a double share of honor. In the year 2020, it shall be double share of honor. It doesn't end there. Say, you will possess a double portion of prosperity. In your land, an everlasting joy will be yours. An everlasting joy will be yours. You want to pray tonight? Father, in 2020, I will not be put to shame. In 2020, for every shame of the time past, there shall be double honor. There shall be double honor. There shall be double portion of your prosperity. Oh, go ahead and pray tonight. Oh, go ahead and pray. It is the year 2020. It is double number. Father, for every shame of the time past, according to your word, you said there shall be double share of honor. Concerning me, concerning my household, it shall be double share of your honor. It shall be double share of your honor. I will possess double portion of your prosperity in this land of the living. Double portion of your prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, your everlasting joy shall be my portion. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praised. God of miracles, you have done it before, you will do it again, oh yes, you will do it again, God of miracles, if you believe in that, go sing that song. Yes, he has done it before. He's able to do it again. Do it again. Yes, Father, you will do it again. God of me, my God. God is leading me to Ezekiel 37, even as I'm about rounding off. Ezekiel 37, you know the story very well. God took Ezekiel into the bone of dead bones. And God asked him a question in verse 3, Ezekiel 37, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can this bone live? Even God is asking you tonight, Son of man, can this bone live? And I answered, O oh Lord, thou knowest. Verse 5. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to enter into you, and ye shall live. You want to pray concerning your family tonight. In 2020, I will not weep. In 2020, 
I will not cry. In 2020, I will not lament. I will not lose any member of my household. I will not have any cause to weep over any member of my family. Whatever you prophesy tonight, I can assure you it will be established. Go ahead and prophesy tonight. Concerning your life, concerning your family, concerning your loved ones, prophesy, come prophesy. Oh, son of man, prophesy. Prophesy unto dry bone. Dry bone must live again. That business must come to life. That marriage must come together again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Dry bone must come again. Dry bone must come alive again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so, our Lord and our God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, God of divine restoration, Daddy, we thank you. We glorify you. We magnify your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for the decade that is rounding up. We thank you for a glorious decade that is ahead of us. We thank you, Lord, for the new things which are about to do in our lives, individually and collectively as a family. Daddy, we say thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, it is the year of double portion. For every shame of the time past, it shall be double honor in the name of Jesus. Ha, Daddy, concerning our joy, it shall be double portion in the name of Jesus. For as many that are believing you for marriages, for their life partner, for the bone of their bone and the flesh of their flesh, 2020 shall be your year in the name of Jesus. Are you under the sound of my voice this night? And you are believing God for the fruit of the womb. I said 2020 will not pass you by in the name of Jesus. In 2020, for as many that desire breakthrough, for as many that desire testimony, it shall not elude you in the name of Jesus. Daddy, at the end of 2020, your name alone shall be glorified. Thank you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let the living shout, hallelujah. Let the living shout hallelujah. In less than two hours, we shall enter into a new decade, a new year. Let the living shout hallelujah. I don't know about you, I'm so excited. I want you to shout hallelujah again. Because we shall see a new year to come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll just quickly do my own side. Mine is divine acceleration. Tell your neighbor, say divine acceleration. Tell them, God will give you divine acceleration. When we talk of divine acceleration, we're talking of speed. The Lord will give you speed this year, this new decade in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'll just quickly do, you know, when we talk about divine acceleration, we're talking of divine speed. Let's now put it down together. When we talk of speed, it's the ability, your own ability, my own ability to move quickly towards a goal. When it comes to divine speed, what is it? It's about the grace, the grace to achieve a God's giving goal. No, one is the, uh, your ability. The other one is the grace. Because once God gives you the grace, it will give you the speed. And he said, it's the grace to achieve the God's giving goal at God's good time. God's good time. Not your own time. God's good time. Remember, the first one is about your own time. The other one is God's good time. And my prayer is the Lord will give you divine speed in the name of Jesus. Now, when we look at the Bible, I'll just quickly go to, um, to Genesis chapter 24. Genesis chapter 24. I'll just quickly paraphrase. This is when uh, Elias, this is when uh, Abraham told his servant Elias, I said, go and find me a wife for my son Isaac. And the Bible says he went, it was as he was going to, I mean, he, was, he went to Mes, um, Mesopotamia onto the city of Nahor. But the main thing is, he got to a point when he has journeyed so far. He got to a point, he got to a place where there is a well of water. And when he got to the well of water, verse 12 is where I'm going. It says, the Bible says, and he said, because he has journeyed for so long, he said, come to a point, he said, Lord, I don't want to waste time anymore. Lord, I'm, I've journeyed for too long. I don't want to waste time. No, verse 12 says, oh, and he said, and, uh, the Bible says, and he said, 
O Lord God of my master Abraham, I have prayed thee, I say, I have prayed thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Where I'm going, he says, send me good speed this day. Send me good speed. That means, Lord, I don't want to waste time. Lord, I need a speed. I want answer our prayer speedily. The, the prayer of my master, answer it speedily. I don't want to waste time. I want you to ask the Lord this, this, this evening. I say, Father, in 2020, before we pray, I think my wife and I were just discussing, was it yesterday or maybe today? We're just saying, okay, what do you want in 2020? She was telling, she was saying, oh, uh, she was telling me, I was, we're just talking, okay, what do you want? And I say, and I told her my own. I told her my own about 2020 and also the next decade. She, the first thing she said is, I want to be debt free this new decade. I was saying debt free this new decade. This new decade is 10 years now. Are you, you were telling me you want to be debt free in, tw- in the next 10 years? Ah, I said, be specific. When do you want to be debt free? said, 2020. So I want us to ask the Lord this. No, 2020, I mean, te- decade is a combination of 10 years. Am I right? So you want divine speed. So I want you to ask the Lord, say, God, give me divine speed every single year in the name of Jesus. Not, the, not only the next decade, but every single year. Father, give me divine speed, oh God. In everything I lay my hands upon, Father, give me divine speed in the name of Jesus. Father, give me divine speed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for divine speed upon my family, upon my children, in the name of Jesus. This coming year, this coming decade, oh God, every single year of this decade, Father, give me divine speed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I will no longer be stuck, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I shall no longer be stuck in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me divine speed in the name of Jesus. Father, give me divine speed, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Marco Shekete, Father, give me divine speed, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, give me divine speed. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Sin in the attitude of prayer. I want us to ask the Lord, say, Father, grant me the grace to achieve your purpose in my life in good speed. In good time for God's speed. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace. Just like we said that divine grace, divine speed is the grace of the Lord. I want us to ask the Lord this evening. I say, Father, give me the grace, O God. Father, to have your divine speed, O God. In 2020, in the name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace. Lord, I need your grace, O God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I need your grace. Father, I need your grace, O God. In the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Father, I need your grace, O God. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray this prayer. No one thing, one thing that does not always make people to have divine speed is because there are too many obstacles. There's too many distractions. I mean, there's so many things that is pulling them down, pulling them back. And or maybe they're even stuck. I want to ask the Lord, say, Father, all obstacles on my way, trying to slow me down in 2020, and even in the next decade, Father, remove them right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, every obstacle ah, that is trying to slow me down, Father, that is trying to pull me back, Father, Lord, oh God, remove, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, remove, Father, remove, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, remove every obstacle, in the name of Jesus. Father, remove every obstacle that is pulling me down, that is slowing me down, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, remove, O God, in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to ask the Lord this evening. I say, Father, I refuse to be stuck in one point. In the name of Jesus. In 2020, I refuse to be stuck. In the name of Jesus. Father, I refuse to be stuck, oh God, in my journey of life. In the next decade, I refuse to be stuck. I refuse to be on one spot. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I refuse to be on one spot, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me divine speed, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me divine speed. In my journey of life, I refuse to be stuck in one point. In the name of Jesus. In one spot, in the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Father, take all the glory. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. I wanted to ask the Lord, I say, Father, 
a journey of 11 days will not be a journey of 40 years for me. In the name of Jesus. A journey of 11 days will not be a journey of 10 years. In the name of Jesus. Father, cut it short in righteousness, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, cut it short in righteousness. Ah, Father, a journey of 11 days will not be a journey of 40 years, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Father, Lord, cut it short, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, cut it short in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Father, I will not be stuck, O oh God. Lord, I will not move round and round, O oh God. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Just like we know the children of Israel, the journey of 11 days became a journey of 40 years. It's because, it's, you know what? They are moving forward, actually. But they're moving round and round. They're moving round and round. I want us to ask the Lord this evening. I say, Father, I will move forward, O God. Lord, I will not move round and round. I will move straight, O God. In the name of Jesus. In 2020, Father, Lord, o God, I'll be focused, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I shall be focused in 2020. Lord, in even the next decade, I shall be focused, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, progression will be my portion. In the name of Jesus. Father, progression will be my portion, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, take all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray a prayer. My wife and I, we pray it all the time. You know, many times we have a lot of friends. But you know what? You don't need all the friends. Many times you, you have a lot of colleagues. You, know, you don't need all the colleagues. Many times you have a lot of people that are surrounding you. But they're time wasters. They're pulling you back. They're not allowing you to move forward. I want you to ask the Lord this evening. And say, Father, Lord, O oh God, any friends I do not need. Father, Lord, O oh God, remove them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Any colleague I do not need, O oh God, that would, be, that would not make me to accelerate in my speed. Father, remove them. In the name of Jesus. Any friend, any colleague, O oh God, that will be pulling me back. Father, Jehovah, Lord, O oh God, Lord, remove them from my life. In 2020, in the next decade, Father, remove them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. It's because I don't need them. Father, Lord, remove them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, remove any unwanted friends. In the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. Blessed be your name, Father. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, we know the, the story of Elijah and Ahab. When, uh, I think in 1 Kings chapter 18, when the Bible says uh, that Ahab rode and said, he, and, so I'm going to Jezreel. That's 1 Kings chapter 4, uh, 18, 45. I'll just read what, uh, chapter, sorry, verse 46. But I said, the end of the Lord was on Elijah, and he gathered up his garments and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. This is Ahab who is riding. This is Ahab who is not riding. But yet, he got to the entrance of the gates of Jezreel, even before A Ahab, who was actually riding on horses. I want us to ask the Lord this, this evening. I say, Father, in 2020, oh God, even the every single year in this decade, Father, let me, give me divine acceleration. Divine acceleration in the name of Jesus. No more time wasting, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, give me divine acceleration. Give my children divine acceleration in the name of Jesus. Father, give us divine speed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Father, give us divine speed. Lord, give us divine speed. Father, give us divine speed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Father, give us divine speed. In the name of Jesus. Father, give us divine speed. In the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Lastly, in verse 46, which is 1 Kings 18, Bible says, the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. The hand of the Lord. I want to ask the Lord and say, Father, in the next decade, oh God, let your hand be on me and my family. In the name of Jesus, Father, lay your hands upon me. Let your hand be on me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your hand be upon me. Let it be upon my children. Let it be upon my family. Let it be upon my families, wherever they are, all over the world. Father, let your hand be upon us, oh God. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, let your hand be upon us. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your hand be upon us. In the name of Jesus. Marco Shekete. Father, let your hand be upon us, O God. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. King of glory, we say thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you, God. Father, I want to say thank you, Lord, for this new year and thank you for this new decade, oh God. It's a decade, it's a year that we have, we don't even know what is in stock for us. But one thing we pray for is that, Lord, you give us divine acceleration in the name of Jesus. Father, we shall not be stuck, oh God. Father, we shall not be stuck in our jobs. We shall not be stuck, oh God, with, uh, with whatever is not of you in the name of Jesus. We pray that Jehovah, Lord, oh God, when many, many women may be doing very well, but Father, we shall exert them all, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that, Lord, oh God, none of us will be stuck in life, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. Lord, we bless your name, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's look at the back of the chair. You will see the envelope. We are fulfilling the what the word of God said regarding Malachi chapter 3 that we should bring all the tithes and offerings to the house of God. Hallelujah. to pay by electronic if you look on the screen you see the check account detail and the subject this is our last offering for the 2019 hallelujah hallelujah are we all set Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to give you all the glory, give you all the honor, give you all the adoration for the great opportunity that you are giving to us, O oh God, able to give, to be able to be in your presence in the last day of 2019. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory, O oh God. I pray by the power of your spirit that our offering will be acceptable even in your sight, in the name of Jesus. Our offering will be used even to depopulate the kingdom of darkness in this city called London, in the name of Jesus. That your name only, almighty God, will be glorified. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we rise on our feet as we bless God with our dance and our praises and our singing. Hallelujah.
to go back and change something, set things straight. I wish I had a do-over. I've made choices. I've lost out. I've wished a thousand times I could go back and try again. It's hard not to imagine what might have been. If I had just stopped to think. If I had just done as I was told. If I hadn't thought I knew it all. Why didn't I just take a few deep breaths? It took one second to listen. Maybe my life would be better. Maybe there wouldn't be such a high price to pay. Things would be different now. I wouldn't have so many regrets. But is everything lost? Can I just get a do-over? Is there a way back to new beginnings? Because regret can mean a new beginning. When it's given to the one who produces a repentance. A repentance that delivers me from my grief. The one who takes my mistakes. And somehow redeems me through them. Who tells me I'm not the sum total of all my regrets? Who tells me not to look back? Because there's nothing there to see. I am not my mistakes. He is faithful and just to forgive me. I just have to ask him. And then I can look straight forward. Forget what is behind me. And strain towards what is ahead. And walk away with all regrets erased by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Every day I'm given a clean slate. A clean slate? I get a clean slate. The Lord is giving you a clean slate. A brand new year. A brand new decade. A brand new hope. A brand new beginning. Hallelujah. I thought somebody is going to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Woo. I don't know about you. Even if you steer the grace and go home and then say happy new year on the way, I think I, I'm blessed already. What a powerful prayer session we have had. Please help me to jam your hands together for all the men that led us. Thank you so much. Wow. You have ignited something in our spirits. And we have been impregnated with that. That God will separate from me everything that must not go with me into 2020. Mm, there are some baggages that must not go with me. Ah, and the Lord will restore all of my wasted years, my fruitless years. Mm -mm, and my all the, the years that the locum and the cankerworm have eaten, the Lord will restore to us. And the Lord will give us speed. Hallelujah. Your progress in 2020 shall be speedy one. The Lord will accelerate you. He will lift you to where you ought to be. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you, men of God. Hallelujah. My touch is very small. Hallelujah. You know, on a night like this, uh, you want to ask, Lord, what should I be talking about? What should I say? What should I say? But I, there's a left, there's a sentence that came to my spirit. Just say one thing is needed. Just one thing is needed. And so one thing is needed is what we're going to talk about tonight. I'm sure you probably wonder, what is that one thing that is needed? Praise God. Father, we just want to humble ourselves before you tonight. We bow our heads. And we thank you for a moment like this. Jehovah God, we just want to, for a moment, just savour all that you have done in our lives. If we count all of them, they are too numerous to be counted. Lord Jehovah, if we number all our blessings, they are just too much for us to be able to recount back to you. Many desire to be seated in this place tonight. Many desire to see their life today, but they are no more. Jehovah God, we do not begrudge them, we just want to appreciate you that you have chosen to preserve us. Not that the enemy has not tried, but you have not given us as meat for the teeth of our enemy. Thank you for preserving our lives. Thank you for preserving our lives. I want you to thank God for preserving the life of your children, for preserving the life of your wife, your husband, for preserving your business. You have traveled this decade, and here you are at the shore of the Let's just take a moment to just bless the name of the Lord. We just bless you, Father. 
We bless you, Almighty God. This might just be your only moment whereby you're just you and God at this time. This is your moment when it's just you and God, where you're whispering to his ears and telling him how awesome he has been to you. You have been wonderful, Father. You have been wonderful, Father. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. In my life, you are wonderful. You are worthy. praise you enough. If all the hairs of our hair should become tongues, they are not enough to thank you. But we give you glory tonight, Father. Take all the glory, O God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Only one thing is needful. By the grace of God, we are on the verge of a new year and a new decade. Many people are apprehensive. Mm. What does the year hold? What does the decade hold? What is in the pipeline? I don't know how your journey has been the last 10 years from 2010 to 2019. Praise God. Many have testified great things happen in their lives. Many have children. Many were married. Hallelujah. Many were restored. Greater things happen in their life. Glory be to God. But then you are coming into a new year, you don't know what it holds, and you are apprehensive. You are wondering, what does the year hold? But we don't have to worry about what the year holds. Because the God that created the year is our God. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Hallelujah. Please tell your neighbor, you don't have to worry. The one that holds the year is your father. He's the creator of heaven and earth. Yeah, you know we prayed that your acceleration shall be rapid. Some people's acceleration has become very rapid tonight. <laughs> Glory to God. 
You don't have to worry about 2020. Neither do you have to worry for 2020 to 2030. Because the one that holds the future is your God. If he cares about the sparrow, why will he not care for me? If God cares so much for the sparrow, God definitely cares about you. It's not for you to worry. Hallelujah. Whatever it is ahead of you is better than where you are coming from. Mm, glory be to God. As the children of God, we don't need to be apprehensive. We don't need to worry. We don't need to be anxious. Philippians 4 verse 6 says to us, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. That's the New Living Translation. You don't have to worry about anything. But instead, pray about everything. That's one thing that is needful. One thing that is needful. You know the creator of 2020. And he's already know, he already knows what 2020 holds for you. The Bible says that Isaiah chapter four, 46. Isaiah 46 verse 9 to 10. The Bible says, remember not. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is no other. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and things that are not yet done from ancient times, saying, I will do my pleasure, and my counsel will stand. God says, don't worry about anything. I know the future. I created the future. Whatever is in store for you, the plan that I have in my heart towards you, they are not evil. When you are worried and anxious, it's because you are wondering maybe something evil will happen. But he's telling you, what I have planned for you, there is no evil there. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, they are thought of good. Every time he's thinking of you, he's thinking of how he's going to bless you. So why should you worry? Why should you be anxious? When the one that created you is saying to you, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He said, fear not. Say to your neighbor, fear not. Fear not concerning 2020. Fear not concerning 2020 to 2030. Because that's what we are talking about. The moment we start 2020, the next place we want to end is 2029. And I will see you in 2029. By the power of the living God, I will see you in 2029. Now, I'm sure it's not going to be in this place. We are going to a greater place. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So when we look, when God already said this, I have a good plan for you. So what then do I need to do? What then is that one thing that is needful? What then is needful? The only thing I can say to you tonight that is needful for you is to get right with God. Get right with God. Renew your covenant with him. Reconnect yourself with God. If you are disconnected from him. Someone might come and give you prophecy. The only prophecy I know that God wants you to hear is reconnect with me. I am the all that you need. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And in this story, to buttress this point, there is the story that we know of two sisters in the Bible. The story of Mary and Martha. We know of their story. The two of them were very close to Jesus, but only one of them truly knew who Jesus was. Truly, truly understand the deity and had a very close relationship with Christ. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. And so tonight, I just want you to determine to be a Mary in your life as you travel 2020 in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's read about the story. It's in Luke chapter 10, verse 38, verse 38 to 42. The Bible says, now it happened as they went, that he entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. 
but Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. <laughs> and Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. The Lord is saying to you, Martha, Martha, you are worried about many things. But only one thing is needed. And I pray that tonight you will take hold of that one thing that is needed as you travel in 2020 in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, there will be many much things to do in 2020. There will be great opportunities that beckons for you. There will be many doors that will want to open to you. <laughs> but there will be important and urgent things that we need to attend to. But one thing I want to rest, assure you tonight, only one thing is needed. And I pray you will take hold of it in Jesus' name. And that one thing that is needed is an intimate relationship with God. Brethren, the world we live in, there is, is targeted. The enemy, the latest strategy of the enemy is distraction. For a child of God, the latest strategy, many opportunities will come to you that look beautiful. But not all of them are for you. They are all strategy of the enemy to distract you. I pray you will not be distracted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Good friends will come with good business ideas and wise counsel. They are the matters of life. That we want to, ah, ah, can't you come? Let's just do this business together. It's a good idea. Every good idea is not a godly idea. They might look nice and beautiful, but they are not for you. I pray in this year, God will give you counsel. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The story of these two sisters is a great story that we used to tease ourselves. Many a time we say, are you a Martha? When we are running about, we're doing all sorts of things. Trying to make things right. Are you a Martha or are you a Mary? It's a story that paints a picture before us of our physical and spiritual life. Hmm. Martha shows us the picture of our physical life. Why Mary shows us the, the picture of our spiritual life. It's a story of priority. And that's what we're going to contend with in 2020. Priority. What is your priority? It's a story of priority. It's a story where we must strike a balance between our spiritual life and our physical world. We must never allow our physical life to be more important to us than our spiritual life. Because remember, the spirit controls the physical. What we see in the physical, first of all, happen in the spiritual. What you want to happen in the physical, you can decree and make it to happen in the spirit. So that we make what is first to be first in our life. Our spiritual life is founded on our intimate relationship with God. Praise the name of the Lord. Is a story that teaches us that service, we must not allow service to take the place of worship. Your worship of God must take priority in our life, even as we travel. We must never be too busy with our life that we forget the need to sit down and hear from him. We must never be too busy to sit, not to sit down and hear instruction from him. You know, there are many things that is going to happen to us in 2020. First of almost is Brexit. 31st of January, we are going. Praise God. Many are apprehensive. What will happen to us? What will become of us? Many changes is going to happen between that period. And you are apprehensive. What will it be? But the key thing is that you know the one that holds the future. Our nation is in the hand of God. And that is where our hope must rest alone. Praise the name of the Lord. Martha was concerned about many things and he got distracted. But I pray for you this year that you will not be distracted in the name of Jesus. But one thing Mary did, Mary sat down at the feet of the master. She set her priorities right. 
in that singular act, he shows I want to draw out two things for us because of our time. Two things I want to draw out from our sitting down. Number one is our lying down. Our sitting down indicated a spiritual rest. And I pray for you this evening that as you enter into 2020, the Lord will give you rest in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not run up and down. The Lord will give you rest in the name of Jesus. When you have time to sit at his feet, he makes you to lie down. What some people chase will be chasing you. When you take time to sit down before him. Hallelujah. He said, goodness and mercy shall follow you. He didn't say you are going to be looking for goodness and mercy. The only way you will get it is because you learn to sit down while he speaks to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. When we sit down, we put ourselves in the position of a sheep and he becomes our shepherd. You know, many a time, the way we walk and struggle with life, we forget that we have a shepherd. We totally forget that we have a shepherd. I'll give myself as an example. You know, God always uses things to, <laughs> to see, to sort of all work it in your life. For the past almost 10 days now, I've not been working, and I'm a consultant as well. Now, if I say my, I'm a consultant, my husband will always laugh at me. But one thing is certain, I'm still a consultant anyway. Whether I still believe I'm a consultant or not, I'm a consultant. And then, where if I don't work, I don't get paid. So for the last 10 days, I've not been working. And then, <laughs> and you know what it means. No work, no money. And the bill does not reduce. I have my own list of bills to sort out. Oh, God. There's no money coming in. But one way or the other, God sorted me out. He sorted me out. How he sorted me out, I don't know. Whether I have an ATM or not, I don't know. But he sorted me out. <laughs> People that know what I've said understood perfectly. <laughs> Praise God. My husband never knew it was my ATM until I told him. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. When I said my ATM, I said, do you really mind? I didn't call him that, actually. He, I think he had it somewhere. And I said, don't you know wives call their husbands ATM? I don't call you that, but you know, you know. <laughs> do you mind being called ATM? <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. But God has a way of sorting. If he doesn't want to help or do anything, he could, have, he could have chosen not to, but I didn't ask, but he sorted it. God has a way of sorting us out, and he will raise help for us. When we worry so much, so, so much, we forget that he's our shepherd. As you journey into 2020, remember God is your shepherd. He said, he's my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He lead me beside the still water. May the Lord lead you beside still water. In the name of Jesus. Have you ever seen the sheep looking for grass to eat? The shepherd finds it and lead them there. I pray the Lord will lead you to your haven. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Some people will sit down in their house and contracts will be chasing them. People will be asking, come, let's build this business together. Praise God. When you sit at his feet, he knows how to take care of you. And I pray that the Lord will take care of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Our relationship with God brings us to the place of rest. The story of Asher is a king, one of the kings of uh, uh, in the one of the kings of Judah. The Bible says, Asher said to his people in Second Chronicles chapter fourteen verse seven, "Because we have sought the Lord our God, you have sought Him, and He has given us rest on every side." I pray for you on every side of your life this year coming, you will have rest in the name of Jesus. As you seek God in 2020, he will bring you to the place. Just like Solomon said in 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 4. Solomon said, now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. And there's neither adversity nor evil occurrence. As you sit at his feet. That shall be your portion in 2020 in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
there shall be no evil occurrence in your life, in the life of your children, in your home, over your tabernacle, in the name of the Lord Jesus. He said, I will keep away from you every form of evil. There shall be no evil near your dwelling place, in Jesus' name. Job chapter 22, verse 21. Job said, now acquaint yourself with him and be at peace. Thereby, good will come to you. May good come to you throughout 2020 in the name of the Lord Jesus. Good will come to you. Good will come to you. I want you to say to yourself, good will come to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will terminate toiling in my life in 2020. I will not toil. I will not labor in vain. Good will come to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. When we sit down, when we sit down at a feast, you give us instruction. Luke chapter 10, verse 37. The Bible says, he had a sister called Mary, who sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. And heard his word. Hallelujah. Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13, take hold of my instruction. Don't let them go. Guard them, for they are the key to life. Take hold of instruction. Guard them, for they are the key to life. May you hear, hear instruction from him in the name of the Lord Jesus. Job 20, 20, Job twenty two twenty two said, Receive, please, instruction from his mouth. And lay up his word in your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 119, verse 15. Psalm 119, verse 115 says, For your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That shall be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that the Lord will guide you continually. When we sit at his feet, he guides us continually. Psalm 20, 32, verse 8, the Bible says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. I pray for you that the eyes of the Lord will watch over you. In 2020, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Psalm 16, verse 7 to 8 says, I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. Hallelujah. My heart instructs me in the night season. I have set the Lord always before my face. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. I pray for you, nothing shall move you in 2020. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will guide you continually with his eyes. He will lead you in the way that you will go. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. But final thing I want to say as we round up, because we are going to pray. We have declaration over this year that I want us to pray for. <laughs> Let me leave you with this word that Zach, as, uh, Zach, Azaria said by the Spirit of God to the king, Asha. This was the story of the king that they had to face an army. A million men confronted Judah. And by the grace of the Almighty, they conquered them. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet, and he said this to Asher. And I want you to hold this in your spirit tonight, even as you go home. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 2 to 4. The Lord will stay. Hallelujah. The Lord will stay with you as long as you stay with him. <laughs> I want you to hold this word in your spirit. The Lord will stay with you as long as you stay with him. I want you to hold this in your heart. The Lord will stay with me as long as I stay with him. Whenever I seek him, I will find him. Whenever I seek the Lord, I will find him. But the final word says, but if you abandon him, he will abandon you. The Lord will not abandon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord will stay with you as long as you stay with him. Whenever you seek him, you will find him. If you abandon him, he will abandon you. I want you to lift your hand to the Lord tonight and say to God, Father, I will stay with you. I promise to stay with you this year. Year 2020, as I'm going into this year, I promise to stay with you. I promise to stay with you. 
Whenever you seek him, you will find him. Lord, even as I seek you in 2020, Lord, let me find you. Let me find you, O God. Let me find you, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, you, I will not abandon you. The grace to stay with you this year, I receive from you, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will not abandon you. I will not abandon you, Father. I put my hand in your hand this night. That God of heaven and not one thing that is useful is my relation with you. Jehovah God Almighty, ignite in me tonight. Lord, the grace to seek you. The grace to seek you throughout this year, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Bless you. We bless you, O oh God. As long as I seek you, I will always find you. If I abandon you, you will abandon me. Please, Lord, don't abandon me in 2020. Don't abandon me in the new decade that is coming. As I take hold of you tonight, Father, I hold on to you that strength from you will continually be my portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I know our time is growing quickly. I want us to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. There are words and a scripture that I want to just to declare over this year. Praise the Lord. I pray the technical will help us. Hallelujah. And if you are not a member, she, Sister Elizabeth, come. If you are not a member of the church, you can just raise your hand. They can give you a copy. And if you are a member of the church, if you look into the WhatsApp of the church, they are there on the phone. And I just want us to rise as rise as we make declaration over this year in the name of Jesus. We will pray into 2020, 2020 before it comes. And I just invite us to please rise. Hallelujah. As we pray the scripture. pray unto the Lord, even tonight. I don't know where you are, but from the little that we've had tonight, my God of heaven and earth, I bring myself before you. First and foremost, I want to reconnect myself with you, O God. Father, I don't know what the year holds, but you know already. But all I want is that you will hold me by the hand and take me into the year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, our Lord, hold me by the hand and take me into this year, Almighty Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I receive the grace, Father, to travel with you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in Job chapter 22, verse 28, it said, I will decree a thing. And it will be established unto me. I will decree a thing and it shall be established unto me. As you are making the declaration over this year, this, this moment, the Lord will establish them unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. How we're going to do it, I will say it and then you will repeat after me. Hallelujah. So 2020. All right, we're getting ready. Amen. Praise God. So 2020, hear my declaration unto you in Jesus' name. 2020, the Lord has made you. And so I declare, I will be glad in you and rejoice continually in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself. Father, over 2020, I will rejoice. I will be glad in the name of Jesus. 2020 is the year that you have made. I will rejoice in it and I will be glad in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I will rejoice in it and I will be glad in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, Lord Almighty, Jehovah, everything, O God Almighty, in 2020 shall bring me joy in the name of Jesus. I will rejoice in you. 
and I will be glad in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hmm. In Jesus' name. 2020, you are a blessing from the Lord. So you will make me rich and had no sorrow to me. In the name of Jesus. I want you to declare 2020, you are a blessing to me. The Lord will make me rich and no sorrow shall be added to my life in the name of Jesus. There shall be no sorrow. I will not sorrow in 2020. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, you will make me rich. Every blessing the Lord has put in you, I receive them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 2020, you are a bundle of blessing packaged by heaven for me and you will deliver all my blessings to me 2020 you are a blessing from the lord you are a bundle of blessing packaged by heaven for me and you will deliver all my blessings to me in the name of the lord jesus let's begin to pray father lord i thank you 2020 you are a bundle of blessing Packaged by heaven for me. You will deliver all my blessing to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will deliver all my blessing to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 2020. You were created perfectly. And everything in you will work together for my good. In the name of Jesus, everything in 2020 will work together for my good. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, you were created perfectly. You will work together for my good. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, you were created perfectly. And everything in you will work together for my good. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ah, blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. 2020. I declare. That as each day. In you breaks. Help will come to me. Help will come to me. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I want you to pray unto the Lord. Father Lord as each day of 2020 breaks. Help will come to me. And we have help. I will have help almighty God. I shall be helped by the Lord. I shall be helped by the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I bless you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hmm. 2020. In you, I will see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. I will see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. Let's begin to pray unto the Lord. 2020, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 2020, in you, light will fall unto me in pleasant places and I will have a good inheritance in the name of Jesus. Line will fall unto me in pleasant places. I decree and I declare over you. 2020, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that line will fall unto me in pleasant states. And I will have good inheritance in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we have good inheritance in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 2020. I will be blessed in the city. I will be blessed in the country. I will be blessed when I go out. I will be blessed when I come in. This shall be my portion in the name of Jesus. I will be blessed in the city. I will be blessed in the country. I will be blessed when I go out. And when I come in, in the name of the Lord Jesus. 2020, in you, I will be the head and not the tail. I will be above only and not beneath. In the name of Jesus, I 
decree, Lord. Ah, Father, Lord, I will be the head. Lord Jehovah, I will be the head and not the tail. I will be the head and not the tail, O oh God. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I will be the head and not the tail. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I will be the head and not the tail, Father. I will be above only and not beneath, O oh God. In the name of our Lord Jesus. 2020. In you, I will lend unto nations and not borrow. I will not be a borrower. I will be a lender in the name of our Lord Jesus. Come and pray unto the Lord as we declare before him. Lord Jehovah, we decree and we declare that we shall not borrow. We shall lend unto nations in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Mm. 2020. 2020, in you, poverty is permanently erased from my life and my generation in the name of our Lord Jesus. 2020, poverty is erased from my generation, from my life in the name of Jesus. I will not be poor. I will no longer be poor. I will no longer spend my last. I will not borrow. I will lend to nation. I shall have in abundance in the name of our Lord Jesus. I decree over you 2020. You shall be well with me in the name of our Lord Jesus. 2020. In you, I am satisfied with favor. And I am full of the blessings of the Lord. 2020, in you, I am satisfied with favor, and I am full of the blessings of the Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord Almighty, I am full of the blessing of the Lord. I am full of the blessing of the Lord, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I am full of the blessings of the Lord. I am full of the blessings of the Lord. I am full of the blessings of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. 2020. This one you are telling him what is happening. <laughs> I'm sure you can read it. What's the name of your road now? Hallelujah. What's the name of your road now? <laughs> what is the name of your road now? In the name of Jesus. 2020, I have changed my address from not enough to God's abundance and overflow drive. 2020, I have changed my address from not enough to God's abundance and overflow drive in the name of our Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, as we decree, so shall it be in the name of our Lord Jesus. As I decree, so shall it be in the name of our Lord Jesus. Ah, Jehovah, I have changed address from not enough to God's abundance and overflow drive in the name of our Lord Jesus. Ah, 2020. In you, many may be saying there is a casting down, but I will be saying there is a lifting up. I will be saying there is a lifting up. A lifting up in my physical life. A lifting up in my spiritual life. A lifting up over my children. A lifting up over your church. A lifting up in my career, in my business. I'm saying that I'm lifted. I am saying that I'm lifted. I am saying that I'm lifted in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 2020. In you, my path will shine brighter and brighter unto the perfect day in the name of our Lord Jesus. Come and speak to the Lord. Father, my path will shine brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. In the name of our Lord Jesus. My path is shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. 
Praise the name of the Lord. I'm mindful of time. 2020, in you, my sun will not set. And my moon will not withdraw itself. My moon will not go down. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 2020, my sun will not set. And my moon will not go down. You will not know shame. That is what it means. I will not know a better yesterday in the name of our Lord Jesus. I will not know a better yesterday. Yea, every day shall be better and better for me. Things are getting better. Things are getting better in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Hey, in the name of our Lord Jesus. 2020. 2020. 2020. In you, in you, the Lord will be my everlasting light. And my God, my glory, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I will have everlasting light. My God will be my glory. I will not know shame in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. 2020, 2020, in you, I will live and not die to declare the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I will live and not die. I will see the end of 2020. I will see the end of the new decade in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. 2020. 2020. I will know joy and gladness. And sorrow and disappointment shall be far from me. Sorrow and disappointment shall be far from me. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2020. In you, I will have peace like a river. I will have peace like a river. I want you to declare 2020, I will have peace. Every day in you, I will have peace. Nothing shall trouble me because I bear in my body the mark of Christ. Nothing shall trouble me. Nothing shall trouble me in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hey. 2020. In you, me and my household will serve the Lord with gladness. I will serve the Lord with gladness. In you I will serve the Lord with gladness. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 2020. In you I will walk in supernatural wisdom. For wisdom will be my principal thing. Wisdom will be my principal thing. I will walk in supernatural wisdom. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I will walk in supernatural wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree that I shall walk in supernatural wisdom in the name of the Lord Jesus. 2020, in you, I will have rest on every side of my life because God has given me rest. God has given me rest. God has given me rest in the name of Jesus. 2020, in you, because I trust in the Lord, mercy will surround me. Mercy will surround me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. 2020, you will bring into my life every man of substance, every helper of destiny, every lifter that heaven has assigned to help me. In the name of Jesus, begin to say to the Lord, You will send to me every helper. You will send to me every helper, every lifter. That you have assigned to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 2020. 2020. 
You are my year of great expectation. You are my year of great expectation. 2020. You are my year of great beauty. I am a royal diadem in the hand of the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus. 2020. 2020. My name. What is your name? What is your name in 2020? That means they will be looking for you. Nations will be looking for you. Men of substance will be looking for you. They will be looking for you. Ah, 2020. My name is sought out. I'm a city not forsaken. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I am a city sought out. I'm a city not forsaken in the name of our Lord Jesus. 2020, you are my year of great restoration. Restoration of all my past losses in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. 2020, you are my year of great restoration in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And this is our year of great change. Amen. Hallelujah. I like it because it said great change. You will complete it. It's like God is giving you a blank check. What is your great change? Ah, what is that great change that you want God to do in your life? And so we say to 2020, 2020, you are my year of great change. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Come and declare to the Lord every area of your life you want great change. Father, there shall be great change in this house. There shall be great change in the love of your people, Father. There shall be great change. There shall be great change. A great change, oh God. Father, you will change our story. You will change our story, almighty God. You will change our story. Is our year of great change. A year of great change. A year of great change in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will do great things in our life. Oh, Father, you will do great things in our life. You will do great things, Almighty Father. Yeah, Jehovah, our year of great change. It's my year of great change, Father. My year of great change, Almighty God. In every area of my life, Father, you will bring a great change. You will bring a great change, Almighty God. A turn around, Father. A turn around for good, O oh God. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. My year of great change, Father. My year of great change. My year of divine lifting. My year of great restoration. My year of great expectation. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. The year we hid my bread without scarcity. The year that you have changed my name, O oh God. To sort out hey, a city not forsaken. That is my name, Father. I'm a city not forsaken. I am sought out. Nations are looking for me. Great are looking for me. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah, Brosia, get a prayer to us. As I have Brosede. Oh, God, I Brazide, Brosanda Laba. Oh, it's my year of great change. Oh, say, get a prayer to Lobosha. As I have Brosede, I got eagle of ocean. Hey, Brosura, by Yada Braya. In this 2020, Father. I will see remarkable change in my life. Hey, I will see remarkable change, oh God. Oh, shake it, tell him, oh boy, and alaba. Oh, see, Torobo, shada, bro, In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the
Hey! 